Okay, everybody, let's get to installing this product that I found. Every once in a while, I come across a really cool gadget that works well for me, and um, I want to share it with, with you guys. So I've had it on my other helmets um, for a long time, so I know it works well and I love it. So now I just bought another one for this helmet, and I'll put the price and the link and everything on there. So I did take off um, the snap because you need it to come off in order to fit through the rings that they give you. So if you have a metal snap, it is slightly difficult to get off. It just takes some effort. I did it on my other helmet and it was a plastic snap and it popped right off. So I have my um, separating tool and now I'm gonna uh, try a mallet and see if that works. So the point is we're, we're trying to, you have to remove this in order for the other piece to work. It doesn't go over that snap. So we're trying to remove the snap in order to get this other clasp on. Okay, be right back. The tools that I used, this is just a trim removal piece that I had and a flathead screwdriver and then a mallet or a hammer to kind of get in the, in the groove there. And if you don't have those, you know, honestly, a flathead screwdriver and a little hammer just to kind of, you got to kind of work this piece a little bit, but it does have to come out. The double D rings do stay on, but I am thrilled not to have to use these. Uh, I think everyone knows how difficult it is to take your helmet on and off. Not difficult, but just cumbersome. When you're wearing gloves, you got to take your gloves off. You got to, so it, it makes it annoying. So with this new install you don't have to use the double d rings you just use the, the uh, quick release but these do stay on though that way if for some reason you sell your helmet someone also can just put and they don't like this the quick release they can always add another snap and and use it for hair so you just leave those on so here's the bag that it comes in and it actually comes in um they give you a uh a very long um, case sensitive um, YouTube tutorial to watch if you don't want to watch mine. It gives you instructions how to take everything off. And I don't know what this is. Uh, let's see. Thank you for your order. So if you have any questions, it seems like the, I've never had a problem, but it seems like the customer service, they're really good. They're like, please contact us immediately if you have any problems. So we've got th actually three separate pieces that we're dealing with. Here's the snap part of it, and then this, and then this. So the first piece we're gonna put on is gonna be this piece right here. Okay, when you're putting this piece on, there is a top and bottom, even though it's not labeled. So the curved part is the top, and this part is the part that goes against your chin. So that makes sense. So now you want to put it on. What we're doing, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. You're going to be adding this to this material right here. So it can either go on this side or this side, on inside or outside. On my last helmet, I did it on the outside because I thought it would look cleaner, but then it's a little bit, I think it's a little bit awkward because the, the double Ds um, are right there. I'm going to do it on the inside. I don't care if these are hanging out. I think it'd be more comfortable to do it this way. What you need to do is push these down as far as you can go to give yourself a little bit of material to work with. And now you're literally jimmying this piece into here. So this is going to take a couple of seconds. So I have it on one side and then you need to kind of squeeze the material. This is the most um, kind of cumbersome part of the install. But you know, obviously you don't, this should be hard to put on and off because if it was easy, it would be easy to come off in case of an accident. So it's good that it's a little bit my hands are covering it but i'm just trying to squeeze this down oh, i think i almost got it 
Yeah, hold on, let me just fix, finish it. Yeah, perfect. There you go. It's on, you know, test it, make sure it's on nice and tight. And it is. So that part is done. Now, this is gonna go in here. Awesome. Okay, I like how my uh, reflective stuff is showing up here. Now we're gonna add on, I'm gonna take this piece off now that we know that it works. Well, first, we're gonna put this piece on. Doesn't really matter specifically on this one. So you just wanna push it back so it's out of the way. We can adjust that later. And you will need to adjust it. Okay, the last thing you wanna do is put on your clamp. So, and do not go through the top part, go through the closest part, the bottom part. So the, this second piece here, that's very important, or if not, it'll slide. And then you go through and you wind it through here. See, now it's tight. It's not gonna go anywhere. Once you figure out where you want it to go, you wanna put it on and adjust this accordingly so it fits you perfectly. Then when you're done, tuck the strap away in here. And now, it doesn't matter if you have gloves on, it's super easy. No more, you know, fumbling around with these straps. So it's by Ridewear, and I'll post the link and everything down below. Cool.